How are you doing? If you're new here, I guess you're meeting the creatures. That's my name. Just hanging out, playing some Starfield. If you're back again, I appreciate the likes, the subscribes, all that fun stuff. But thank you. Thank you for hanging out. Jumping in here into some Starfield. I accidentally stabbed a kid. I need to figure out how to put my weapons away. Everybody Starfield. started attacking me. So I thought Earlier, I had, reload my I had game. some issues with my hard drive, so I put it on an SD drive. Actually, an M.2 drive. Um, we're going to play with them. Robotics. I'm trying to find out. Should I play it with controller? I feel like a keyboard and mouse with this menu would be better. Even though this is an Xbox game and they designed it for Xbox. So let's look at inventory real quick. I like that one. This one's cool too, but let's see. I'm digging this one. Why am I naked? Okay, that's with keyboard and mouse. I can't hear you. You're so far away, buddy. Let's go figure out this world. I don't know. I don't know what I should play with. What do you think I should play with? Just right to map, huh? All right, let's go check out stuff. And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. That was incredible. That was incredible. My ship needs some repairs. I'd like to review and modify my ship. Let me see what ships you have for sale. Where, where did you say I could sell things? Where can I go if I need more crew for my ship? I'm sure you can find something you like. So 
spell. Woohoo! Okay, that's Rambler. So much is going on with this game. The Trade Authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. <laughs> Alright. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Right here. Let's see what we can sell. Oh, I see. So those four. Yeah, five of these. Picked up a lot of junk. I didn't know I had that one. Laser pistol. Nice. That's it. Just weapons. Let's see. What can I buy? Okay. Let's go check out things. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just... <clears throat> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to MAST ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch, let me just say how honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of there alive. Well, just glad I still remembered my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool! Is it true that the Nat train goes 5,000 miles an hour? Or that citizens get special discounts? Or that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last night. But I don't smell anything here. Um, no, yes, no, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila <laughs> City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are a state of the art. Ugh, Aquila City? Oh, don't even get me started on those simpletons. A little unfair, don't you think? Free Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. They assisted. No questions asked. 
even help with some repairs so I could do an emergency jump home. Good people. In any event, you all must be exhausted. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details with security. Huh. I'm going to get lost in this game. Not now. What? No, just uh, go away. Wish that bartender at Viewpoint would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. She can't do this to me. Okay, talk to bartender. That's how you get missions. Does that woman have any idea who I am? Not all your ship now. Come in. Nice ride. Well, hello. Got a call. Someone's power kept going out. Know what it was? Hey. A heat leech as long as my leg. Yuck. Everybody wants to talk to me. <sighs> Guess you caught some of that, huh? <sighs> the galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever. Spacers, House Varun, Crimson Fleet. Everyone trying to grab their piece. What happened to the early days, huh? Oh, no. Just float through the stars and dream. That's true. Well, now, <laughs> you don't know how glad I am to hear you say that. I'm right here with you, my friend. How can you not look up to the cosmos and just be overwhelmed by its beauty? So much possibility, so much hope, even despite recent events. Yep, that I have. Had to dump a load of cargo just last year. Microscopes, can you believe that? <laughs> Guess you can sell anything these days. Pirates are a tricky lot. In space, they're all about the hit and run. They jump in, steal your stuff, and get out of there fast. Keep your cool, and you can generally talk your way out of it, so long as you're not too attached to your valuables. Stumble upon them planet side, though, and their trigger fingers get much itchier. Hmm. Clear no. Ricardo Bosch. I was the lead researcher on the station that got attacked. It was business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in, spouting their scripture or whatever it was. Even the Marines were overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm just lucky to have made it out of there in one piece. We all are. Now, I just want to get back to work. Where is that woman? Really? <laughs> You must have been hiding under a moon rock your whole life if you've managed to dodge those assholes. <sighs> They're basically a bunch of space scumbags. Fly around, attack, and rob anyone they see. They're pretty disorganized and easy to fend off until they aren't. They're a different beast than the Crimson Fleet. Generally speaking, pirates want your stuff, so they can occasionally be reasoned with. Spacers, though. They tend to shoot first and ask questions never. Not what, who. How to describe House Varun? Well, imagine a, a bunch of colonists who set off into the stars ages ago, disappeared, and then re-emerged as a sort of religious society. Faction, or cult, whatever you want to call them. They believe in some sort of celestial deity called the Great Serpent. Uh, real nightmare fuel kind of stuff. About a hundred years back, they picked a fight with pretty much everyone in the settled systems. I guess your school never covered the Serpent's Crusade, huh? Nope. We eventually made peace, sort of. Then they just disappeared. They're out there, somewhere. Or so folks assume. The ones that attacked us, they were the hardliners, for sure. You meet those guys, you run. You understand me? Okay. Another time, then. 
I don't really want to talk to you, Bobby. Hi. You don't need to wear your helmet on this planet. No, that's terrible. I'm an idiot. What it? What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> Damn it.